What's up guys, welcome to the video. This is a quick video about balance. So if you saw yesterday, I put out an Instagram post or maybe two days ago about transparency, about openness and about sharing the stuff, not only that is going well and, and, and you know, things that, that are, that are brag worthy or whatever it is, but sharing some stuff that I'm struggling with. I'm going through some transitions with drummers resource with my new company. Uh, Revoice Media with some other stuff that I'm working on. So I'll try to I'll break it down with you quickly. That so I'm trying. Uh, so I have Drummers Resource, and I also just started another company called Revoice Media. And then I also am learning about real estate investing because I want to start investing. But I also decided to get my real estate license so that I would understand more about investing. So as I mentioned in that post, I give a lot of people advice that I don't take myself. And one of those pieces of advice is that you can't do everything all at the same time. You just can't do it. So when you're get, especially when you're trying to get things started, like it needs all of your effort. And one thing that I noticed about myself is I try to do everything, and then finally I get all burned out. So like in the be in when I first started Drummer's Resource, it was 2011. Uh, well, 2011, I was running a restaurant. I was building a restaurant and opening a restaurant and then running a restaurant. I had just met my wife. I was driving or my to be wife and I was driving two and a half hours. I was commuting back and forth and I was helping a buddy of mine run a drumstick company all at the same time. Then I started drummers resource. I was working 120 hours a week and was getting nothing done because I was just like, I was too scatterbrained. And my wife would always tell me, he who is everywhere is nowhere, right? So you you can't be everywhere all the time. And if you're if you're trying to fragment yourself and cut yourself too thin, then you're never going to be able to get anything done. And what I realize is I start to like freak out, and I finally say, okay, I got to cut this thing out. I got to cut this thing out. And I got to cut this thing out. And then I get focused on one or two things, and then I add one thing, and then I add another thing, and then I add another thing. Like what? I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. So. I'm sort of in that situation where, again, so I stripped everything down. And I was like, okay, drummer's resource. So I have, I spent, I spent two and a half years of doing nothing else except drummer's resource day in, day out, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. Great. Drummer's resource is killing. It's, it's in a great spot right now, but it's at a spot where it doesn't need, it doesn't need that much attention. Let me, let me clarify that it needs attention but it doesn't need 10, 12, 14 hours a day. I've got systems in place. I now have a team. I have, uh, you know, I have efficiencies. There's things are run a lot smoother than they did before. Plus, while I was doing it, while I was growing it, there was a whole learning curve that was associated with it too. So that learning curve is gone. Sure, I'm still learning and still want to figure out how to do better. But it's not before I was so green. I had no idea what I was doing. So now I'm, I'm a little bit more experienced in it. I've been doing it for four years. Like I said, systems in place, it's a lot easier. So the amount of time that I've needed to spend on that has gotten smaller. Great. So now I have Revoice Media, and Revoice Media is in startup growth grind mode where it needs 10, 12, 14 hours a day. So now that I have that, I also want to start real estate investing. And that there's a steep learning curve for that as well. So what I'm trying to do, and plus there's all these other ancillary things that go along with it. Those are just career. Then there's health. Then there's practicing drums. Then there's my relationship with my wife, my relationship with my friends, travel. So there's all these things and I'm finding that that I'm starting to fragment myself again too much to where I'm sort of like running from thing to thing without actually getting anything done. And so now I'm what I'm trying and I'll update you on this, but I'd love to hear feedback about this if anybody's gone through this or or if you know if anybody has any advice uh, advice about it. I know I talk about this a lot on on my drumming podcast, but you know, it's sometimes it's hard to take your own advice, but for me, I'm trying to figure out how I can get stricter about boxing in tasks for each thing. So I'm thinking that I can spend a lot like early morning time getting all the drummers resource stuff done, batching the interviews, uh, getting all that stuff done, working with my team, all that stuff to where I'm done because I get up early. I'm up at you know 5:30. So if I can work from say six to 10, that's a solid four hours of like undisturbed, diligent work. And I mean work, not an hour work, 15 minutes on Instagram, email, this, that, like screwing around. I mean legitimate work. 
then from you know 10 to maybe four or five i can spend time on revoice and then i can at night either practice or study real estate i don't know i don't know if that can happen because what happens is in the middle of the afternoon i get a call about drummer's resource i get this i get that and so the things start to get to get fragmented again and there's i mean why am i sharing all this with you i don't know maybe part of it's like cathartic for me and this is like my uh my therapy session i guess but but this is this is a real thing this is a real struggle that i want to share for two reasons one i'm open to suggestions would love to hear your advice your suggestions but also two this is the reality of trying to multi trying to um i don't want to say multitask but juggle multiple things and these are the things that i'm constantly dealing with and struggling with day in and day out because i want to do so much and but i also understand that you can't do everything and do it well you can half ass a lot of things in your life but i want to do it well so i'm trying to strike that balance i'm trying to figure it out and and i will be sort of tinkering with this and, and messing around with some, some different strategies and I'll fill you in on what I find. And, you know, I don't know, maybe I can, I can figure this whole thing out. I'm hoping that I can, like I said, drummer's resource is in such a good spot that I think that I can spend less time with that. When I say less time, I think people hear that as it's not as, as important or the quality is going to go down or anything like that. I don't, I don't mean that. I just mean that, that, I believe that we have a good team in place and I, I believe that, that we have some great systems in place and I wouldn't be able to do it without those guys. So, um, but I think that it's, it's to a point that I can really double down on, on some other stuff and really strike that balance. And, but I've noticed this the last like couple weeks that at the end of the day, like I have this, I have this calendar that I have on my wall that I've showed people before. So this is like, I have these five critical tasks that I want to do every single day. And if I get them done, I consider that a win for the day. And if I don't get them done, I consider that a loss. And as you can see, like I was kind of killing it there for a little while, go on vacation, come back, and I'm starting to lose some of these days. And what I mean is I'm not getting done all the stuff that needs to be done. So it's starting to be a struggle. And I'm realizing that and I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out that balance and before before when I cut some of these things out I realized that they weren't important to me they weren't aligning with my goals and all that kind of stuff but everything that I'm doing now is aligning with my goals and I don't know so I'm just trying to figure it out and that's it that there's some uh I don't know. There's some real, some real shit that I'm going through right now. And uh, I don't know. If you have advice or tips or anything, I'm open to them. And I'll keep you posted on on what's going on. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Oh snap! I almost forgot. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a video every week. So subscribe. Whatever those. Whatever that button is. Cool.